We're rolling. A number of years ago, I saw an advertisement seeking a roommate who was SSSK. I looked these terms up, and apparently they mean Shomer Shabbat, Shomer Kashrut, Sabbath observant, kosher diet observant. I immediately thought, what, you don't care if your roommate is Shomer Halashon, observant of the things that she says? Indeed, the prohibition against gossip mongering and many other commandments have been largely ignored while rabbinic extensions of and customs related to the Sabbath and Kashrut have gotten all the attention. This neglect is particularly apparent when it comes to Leviticus 19, even though it is so commandment dense. As I said in a previous video, Leviticus 19 is probably the most ignored chapter in the Bible. I think the reason is as follows. The five books of Moses are divided into roughly 50 portions with a rate of around a portion a week, enabling the five books to be read every year. In addition to the weekly readings, many synagogues also have a rabbi's sermon in which he addresses the weekly topic. That is, unless a holiday is near, in which case the holiday becomes the topic of the sermon. During most years, Leviticus 19 is read during, uh, during Passover season or is read along with another weekly portion and thus Leviticus 19 is ignored. On, during some years, however, Leviticus 19 is read not during Passover season and so it would seem that Leviticus 19 would then be the sermon topic. However, this is rarely the case. Seven years ago, I was aware of Leviticus 19 not being the sermon topic when it was read during uh, Passover season, but that year it was read not during Passover season, so I was hopeful that it would uh, be the sermon topic. However, that year, that week, the Boston Marathon bombing occurred, and the bombing, rather than Leviticus 19, was the topic of the sermon. Similarly, this year, another rare year in which Leviticus 19 is read not during Passover season, most synagogues are closed because of COVID-19. So, if Leviticus 19 is never addressed as a synagogue sermon, then Lord, may it please be your will that my videos be the sermons that it deserves.